time for the old uh, coffee to move out of the way, and yes, it is in a jug. It gets me through the day, that pint of coffee. Anyway, it's time for a video. It's time for a Hot Wheels video, a special one. Because over here, I'll have to slide them into shot. I have, oh, it's wet because the coffee's leaked on the desk. Oh, you. So, yeah, here I have what most of you will know already because I'm a bit late to the party with this. I say a bit, very late. The uh, black and gold, the 50, Hot Wheels 50th anniversary black and gold series. Um, yeah, I'm obviously quite late. These have been out for quite a while now, especially on YouTube. A lot of people have made videos on them. But yeah, they've only just started coming in, in in the UK. Like I've only just started seeing them. So yeah, I have quite a lot here. So I'm going to have to sort it out into which ones. Right, I think these here are the main are the main six because I have started to try and get a second collection. I'd kind of want to get two of each, so I think I'm like halfway through on the next section. But yeah, anyway, let's start it off simply. I need to try and find one of one. I haven't thought through this very well, have I? Anyway, so, whoops. First off, we have number one, the Bone Shaker. As you can see, it says one of six over there. So, to start with, the biggest thing about the card art, which I think is amazing, is you've got this sort of like you know, top-down sort of view of the car drawn on the box there. Obviously in gold with a black background, which is pretty awesome, I would say. And obviously there we have the car in a, a really nice black, a sort of matte black finish with gold chrome and the 50th logo written on the side there and some blue stripes to go along with it, which is actually quite a nice touch there. I quite like the look of that. So the car's got some... Steel wheels, but it looks a little similar types like that. Very nice, and gold outlines on them as well. And of course, gold interior. Oh, yeah. Oh, gold interior. All, all good. So, yeah, very nice. I, the card art. I love it. I really, really wanted to find these cars. I absolutely love the card art on these. So, the first two, incidentally, one and two, actually some Hot Wheels kind of quite mainstream sort of popular Hot Wheels cars. Well, I say popular, they're sort of they're featured a lot. This is a Twin Mill 3, which uh, is, yeah, oh, this is Twin Mill down here. But yeah, this is uh, featured a lot on sort of Hot Wheels art and all the sort of, all that and the like, and uh, has been uh, coming out a lot in the recent cases. So of course, once again, we've got another overhead view on the card art there, Hot Wheels 50th. There, so the car itself is pretty simple. It's, uh, again, the bl matte black. Obviously, you've got the gold 50th anniversary logo on the front there. You've got uh, uh, some gold stripes and some blue stripes on it. Very nice. And the gold uh, chrome again. Rather nice looking car, that. Twin Mill 3 isn't my favourite looking thing, but it, it's a thing. Right, next up, I have one of my favourites. This is the Roger Dodger, and I think a lot of people will probably like this car. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the engine block on it that sticks out so high. But, I mean, you know, I actually have a Roger Dodger without that engine block. I love that car to bits, but it's got a massive, like, scratch down the uh, roof where a brick fell on it. Of all things, pretty normal, isn't it? So, yeah, once again, there's a theme going on here, if you haven't already spotted that. Matte black finish, gold stripes, 50th anniversary logo in gold, blue stripes again, gold chrome, oh yeah, and gold chrome on the wheels. And this one's got the exhaust on the sides and gold chrome too. Very nice. Differences to this one. Actually, no, I say differences. No, the Bone Shaker has it as well. It has this sort of somewhat gold plastic body. Of course, this one, you can tell that more because the plastic body actually goes to make the front and rear bumper and lights. Pretty nice. Um, none of these models seem to have any sort of uh, light details or anything, but they do come with quite a lot of decals on the sides and some quite flashy colours. And, of course, the card art is pretty cool. But, I mean, the difference between this and the mainline car isn't a lot, yet they price them higher. Which does kind of put, it does kind of annoy me a little bit. So, number four, we have the Dodge Dart. This is one another one of my favourites, quite like this one, very nice looking. This one actually has a uh, chrome underneath, ooh, metal one, very nice. So, of course, the front panel, the front bumper and grill will be chrome as well, as well as the back bumper. Very nice. Like the look of that. Again, matte black finish, 50th logo on the side, gold and blue stripes, gold wheels, pretty standard. And, of course, I don't know what the wheels are called because 
when I looked into it, it confused me because I have a small brain. Right, this is definitely by far my favourite of the set, the 64 Impala. Uh, I really like this car, not sure why. I used to pick it a lot in uh, Midnight Club 3, which is an old racing game I used to play on PS2 when I was younger. Used to always pick it as my first car. Don't know why, just like it. Once again, matte black, gold 50th logo, gold and blue stripes, gold wheels. This one again has a uh, sort of a golden underneath actually. Very nice, I quite like the wheels on this one. Don't see those wheels very often. So lastly we have, oh I say lastly, it isn't the last car actually. Because there is, um, it does say 6 of 6 but there is a 7th car. The 65 old Ford Ranchero, I don't know what that was. The 65 Ford Ranchero. So this is a uh, sort of truck type thing, obviously it's got a cover over the back there so it's got a flat back. Not really sure what to say about that. It's just got a cover. Is there a word for that? I, I don't know. Got a plastic uh, underneath of the underneath the car is plastic, uh, but the front grille is actually chrome, which is pretty cool. Also, we got a little bit of a gap in the engine. We have got a vent in the engine, so we can actually see into the engine block there. That's pretty cool. That's very nice. And of course, the same uh, color scheme, and of course, different uh, car. Uh, which I will briefly show the ones I didn't really cover, but I mean these two you can't these like two you can't really Actually I think these three you can't actually no you can see a bit more than that, but these two are a bit bland. The Roger Dodger one's pretty good though. Call that amazing engine block. So I'm sure everyone knows that there is a seventh car because well rarer cars always become popular. And well, here it is, surprisingly, uh, for me, very surprisingly, since when have I ever got the rare car? Well, I say rare, there's two in every 36k, so, you know, there is, there is, it's quite a high chance of finding it. Obviously, there, this one hasn't actually got a number on it, so it's six of six, and then this one's just unnumbered. Maybe it's so people didn't go, oh, I couldn't find that other car, I don't know. But yeah, this is the uh, Camaro chase car, the gold one. So obviously the uh, difference is here is this isn't matte black. This is uh, completely chromed out gold, and it's very shiny. And my lights, uh, my lights and camera, I'm just not liking it very much. I mean, kind of hard to show it, but yeah. Again, we have got the blue stripes down the side, but instead of the gold stripes, we've actually got black matte black ones instead, which I really like. Overall, I love that design. The fact they sort of inverse the colours is pretty damn cool, and made it all chrome. This one has a black body which is quite cool obviously black grille no, nothing extra no special details for the rarer car no front or rear light vinyl or decal or whatever no no details there it's got the hood vent and the uh, 50th logo there written in black very nice overall a very nice casting actually so how many of you were lucky to get this one eh to be honest I was a uh, Lucky I even found the set. I wasn't expecting to find these over here. Seeing as you don't get many Hot Wheels sets. But yeah, I did. Uh, I originally found it in uh, that small kids talk, kid shop called Kid Stuff uh, near me. Which was quite surprising, actually. I wasn't expecting to find it there. Which cost about 20 quid for the six. So it wasn't cheap. That's for sure. And then um, later on, which I have released that video, which I'll try and put a linky thing somewhere, or maybe leave a link at the end. Uh, I found that uh, Asda were doing them. I found out that they had put up a sign labelling the black and gold series, but hadn't actually put any of the cars out yet. I looked up to the top shelf, and then they had the stock box, the stock case for all of the uh, black and gold series. So I had a raid through that, got it down, had a look through, and uh, found uh, found me a uh, chase car. Very nice. Well, actually, if anyone's watched the video, they know I didn't find just one chase car. But, you know, I still feel guilty about taking both. Oh, well, a moment of silence for those who won't find them because I stole them. That's enough. And, of course, over here we do have three more. We have the Roger Dodger again, Ford Ranchero, and the 64 Impala. I'm going to get the whole set again. So far, I'm halfway through. Well, actually, just over halfway because I've obviously got four out of uh, out of seven but technically six out I've got three out of six at the moment three more to go uh, hopefully I can get the money to buy those soon hopefully 
And once I do, there'll be an unboxing video of those. So that'll be fun, won't it? We get to actually unbox them and uh, have a look at them in closer detail. Which no one will watch because uh, you've all seen it on YouTube before anyway. Oh, and actually one thing. The ones I got from Kids Stuff obviously say it. They say it on there. Do you know how annoying that is? I've had to, I've started peeling it off on some. But as you can see... Yeah. They're leaving horrible residue on the actual the boxes. So I guess I can't actually display these boxes now. Which is one reason I'm buying the set again from uh, Asda. Because they don't have anything on them. And it's just so annoying. I'm going to sit there trying to peel it off carefully. I've done it on three of them. But it took me about 20 minutes to do all of them. They're quite sticky. And then they start ripping badly. It's, oh, it's so irritating. So thanks for that, guys. That was very helpful. Not. So, yeah. I'm going to turn that light off because that's literally just swamping them out. That's a bit better, actually. Not as much light, but at least it's not swamped out anymore. Should have done the video like this, really, shouldn't I? So you can actually see them better. But there we go. That's what they look like. And there's the chase car. Woo! So, if you would like to see me uh, unbox all of these cars, be sure to subscribe and... Uh, so you'll find out when I upload that video because I am definitely for sure going to be collecting the series again. Seeing as I've got four out of seven already, I might as well continue and get them all. And then I'll unbox the set, which should be very interesting. So I hope this video was enjoyable. Thank you for watching. And leave a like if you liked. I'll see you guys in another video.